guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock on a Wednesday, which means it's time for a Hidden Gems. Now today we're gonna be looking at Packet Pocket by Tom and Oscar and Phil Goldstein. Now, before I even talk about that, let me tell you what Hidden Gems is. It's one of my favorite videos on the channel. The idea is that I look at a trick that's been around for a while. It could be a routine on a uh, online academy, like an Alakazam Academy or a Vanishing Ink Masterclass or an At The Table from Murphy's or a Penguin Live. It could be a trick that came out a little while ago that people don't know about. You know, because we stand on the shoulders of giants and these days as a community, because so many tricks come out, we're always racing to try and find that late and greatest trick as a community we want that trick that's going to make us famous right whilst in reality there's a million tricks that came out years ago that are as good as if not better than the tricks that are released these days and today this is a perfect example this trick got massively overlooked when it first came out and i think it's as old as the hills now you can still get it i checked seo magic have them available i know that for a fact um, and they're regulars on the convention scene as well as having a website and there's other places that uh, that do it as well uh, but I checked, it is available. It got overlooked when it first came out. And I think the reason is it's a very simple premise because in premise, what you're doing here is you're having six cards uh, and only six cards and you're predicting the card that they pick. The method here is really fair and it allows you to, to really focus on the positives of the routine. And you'll see what I mean. I'll talk about this more in a minute. But as I say, it's by Tom and Oscar and Phil Goldstein. If you don't know who Phil Goldstein is, it's the alter ego of Max Maven. And this for me is a really great trick to do if you're then gonna go into a series of mentalism tricks. Because this is a kind of a really simple mentalism thing, but it allows you to really focus on, how, it's a free choice. There is absolutely no force in any way and there is also no uh, equivoke. There is also no multiple out. The prediction that you're going to see in the envelope is the prediction from the very, very beginning and there is no force at all. Please bear that in mind when you have a look at the performance. Let's have a look at Packet Pocket by Phil Colstein and Tom and Oscar. I got an envelope here. Inside the envelope, there is a prediction. Okay. Ooh, ah. Ooh. I want you to remember that before I did anything, I put the prediction right there in the envelope. I took that envelope from Reagan. She lent it me from the admin team. I didn't even know we had envelopes, but it makes sense that in an office we would have them. I, I just... heard you bounding around the office shouting, do we have envelopes? So... Well, they were in the stationery <laughs> cupboard, which scares me because I don't like Where going in there. Where else are they going to be? It's too organised in there. But anyway. <laughs> too organised. Too organised. I don't like being involved in that admin bit. where the envelopes could be. Are they on the roof? <laughs> why did the envelopes never move around? Because they've got no corners. No, do you know why? No. They're stationary. It's a good job this is a magic show and not mm -hmm. a comedy show. Anyway, uh, I'm, <laughs> yes, I have some stuff here that you would find either in your pocket or in a desk. I've got uh, uh, six cards altogether. Yeah. Okay. So we have uh, a calculator, um, which you might have on your desk yeah. uh, in the 1980s. Um, still got one. Yeah, okay. Every there day. Go. Uh, we've got keys. Yeah. Uh, we've got money. Uh, no, I ain't got none of that. We've got okay, watch. Yeah. Watch. Mm, I don't wear watches. No. Okay. We've got glasses or sunglasses. Yeah. And, glasses. and finally a lighter. Yeah. Yeah, um, hold your hands out like that, palm up. I'm gonna put five cards here and one card here. Uh, which is heavier? Well, that one. Yeah, do you know why? Because there's more of them. No, because that's lighter. That's <laughs> <laughs> lighter! It's another joke! <laughs> I'm just in one of those moods today, I gotta be honest. Whoa. I'm in one of those moods. Um, if you're in one of those moods, it makes it a difficult day yeah, for us all. Yeah, doesn't it, just? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just shuffling every day. I'm shuffling. Um, you're going you're gonna to touch one. Uh, anyone. And you, you've, you've watched enough magic tricks to know that some, if I do something, I might be able to get you to pick, pick a particular card. This is really free choice. I'm going to spread them out. Which one do you want? Just touch anyone. You happy with that one, yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? I didn't influence you or anything like that. This is the one that you want, correct? Yeah. Now think about this. You could have actually had the glasses. You could have had the watch. You could have had the lighter. You could have had the money. Or you could have had the calculator. Mm -hmm. You had a free choice. Would you agree? Yeah. If you've been paying attention, you'll know that you were left with the key. Yeah. Now, I said that the prediction is in there. It's not like I've got a prediction hidden here and here and here and here and here. I told you the prediction is there and it's there from the very beginning. And you picked any card and you went for the key. Open up the prediction. Yeah. 
<laughs> what the hell? I know, right? I told you, you could literally go for any one of them. Do you only get that trick right, like one in six times? Works every <laughs> single time without fail. Wow. Works every single time without fail. Isn't but that, that is a free choice. It was a totally free choice, and that is the prediction that's there from the very, very beginning. That's nuts. So there you go, that's uh, that's Packet Pocket by Tom and Oscar and uh, Phil Goldstein. I mean, what an amazing trick it is, right? It's a really cool trick. Now, the reason I think that this got overlooked is because it is a very simple premise. Look, I've got six cards, um, but these six cards, you're going to pick one and I'm going to predict it. Uh, and it is a very simple premise, right? But it's so effective and you can really kind of... Um, you can you can you can present this in a whole bunch of different ways. So I presented it as a straightforward mentalism routine, right? But what you can do if you want to is you can bring these six cards out and you can have people put on the table the six matching objects. So get people to lend you their glasses and their phone because that's like a calculator and and some coins out their pocket and their keys and so on and so forth get those laid out and then show that you've got six cards that represent those six items have them shuffled have them pick one freely and put it down on the table and then at that point you put the rest of the cards away and then you you can do a patio force on the the six items that you have on the table um and and at the end of the patio force they're going to be left with keys for example and then you turn over and you've got keys and it always will be keys even though there's no force and even though every card is different and even though there's no multiple out it will always be keys and that's why this is such a really strong routine you can get six people involved if you want to and you can get people taking stuff out their pockets they're invested in this emotionally you could you don't just have to do it as a uh, as a as a prediction trick like i say you can do it as a coincidence trick like with the patio force there's a lot of different things that you can do you can borrow somebody's phone and search key and put that down and have them pick one and then when they look at the the phone you've actually searched key there's a lot of different ways that you can actually go with this routine um it's great as an opener because it's very direct and as i say it allows you to focus on the positives because normally there's a negative in these style of routines there is a multiple out or there is a force of some description because there's no force and there's no multiple out obviously there's a method obviously there's a trick but it allows you to be very fair they can choose any card you can put it in their hand you can show the other cards. You can put them away. It's very fair. So it allows you to focus on the fairness, which makes it a really good opener because you can do it very, very quickly, establish credibility, and then go into something that's a little bit longer. So that's your hidden gems for this week. Phil Goldstein, Stroke Max Maven, and uh, Tom and Oscar are geniuses at the best of times. And this is a criminally overlooked packet trick that's really fun and has a great hook that will work with most audiences. So I really highly advise you to go check it out. Stay so go, guys. That's another hidden gems in the bag. Do me a favor, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget, you want to see more videos like this, you know what you got to do. Just like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow. I'm going to be back tomorrow at six o'clock with Magic Live, nine o'clock with another video, and uh, I'm going to be back at two o'clock with the shorts. But guys, thank you very much for joining me. If you haven't already done so, please go check out The Netrix. It's www.thenetrix.com. You can go check it out and see what all the fuss is about and see what people think about it. I would love, I would absolutely love for you guys to check out the Netflix. We're uploading new content all the time. I think we're up to about 250 courses now across all levels. So there's a lot to see. There's a lot to do. Go check it out. Netflix, www.thenetrix.com. I'll see you again on Magic TV tomorrow. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm -hmm.